still lots of work to do, lots of improvement to do, and obviously we've got 11 games left to do that, uh, including some very tough ones. And it's a tough one this week, you know, Workington, at Workington. Any, any time you travel up to Cumbria, it doesn't matter who you're playing, you know, for well, it's, it's full on and it's going to be a tough game. Well, John, a big thank you for joining us and uh, a big congratulations on your appointment at Witness. Uh, we're only, uh, as we record this, just a few days away from uh, taking to that touchline uh, up at Workington. Um, what's, your, what's your thoughts as we head to this first competitive game with you in charge at Witness? Yeah, well, there's a, an element of excitement, uh, an element of trepidation, uh, an element of nervousness. So, you know, there's a range of emotions, uh, but all you can do as a coach is prepare as steadily as you possibly can, which is, is what we'll endeavour to do as a, as a coaching team. And then obviously... Uh, be, uh, trusting the players to to carry out the plans and the preparations that we've made. So uh, it's uh, you know it's a bit of a leap into the unknown at the minute, but uh, one that I'm looking forward to. Let's talk about those preparations uh, in a bit more detail because obviously this announcement was made uh, early on in June, and obviously it's been um, a good few weeks uh, between that day and and this weekend. Um, but I, I get the impression. You've, you've not really taken a step back or anything like that. You've been, you know, looking on and observing. Uh, so what, what's your preparations been like heading into this weekend? Yeah, well, obviously, I mean, I had other commitments in, in, the, in, the, in the meantime. It wouldn't be in the Wales International and those other commitments as well. Uh, I suppose it's dropped on lucky as well because uh, I've just, last week I tested positive for COVID as well. So I, I've just managed to get over that. So uh, <laughs> that's obviously hampered my individual preparations in part. But I, I really have. I've looked at the witness games. I've looked at the witness players. Uh, I've spoken at length with Ryan O'Brien, who's been the interim head coach, so that we know exactly where he's come from and what he's been trying to achieve. And then I'm just looking forward to meeting the players to, today uh, fully, taking a training session and then obviously nailing the, the finalities of the preparation on, on Friday before we travel up on, on Sunday. Well, it's good to see uh, that you, you, you're back in full flow as well, John, after uh, getting yeah. the illness. Um, but uh, just to touch upon um, the, the last competitive game for, for Witness uh, last weekend, that, that was a bit more promising, wasn't it, against London? Yeah, well, I thought the game before as well against York, I thought they played really well against York. Uh, but what they, they lacked against York was that belief that they could get over the line. And I thought they were the best team against York for 55, 60 minutes. But York, because they'd been having success, they were confident. You could see that they just felt they could close the game out regardless. They'd get a chance and they'd close it out. And that's the confidence you get with with winning, basically. And obviously that's been drained a little from, from the Vikings. And uh, But there was lots of heartening things with that performance. Then in the most recent performance, obviously, against London, it, it was it's pretty shoddy first half. Uh, I, I didn't feel the players' effort areas were, were good enough in the first half. But they really did turn it around in the second half. And I think a 16 points to nil uh, second half performance really summed it all up. I was delighted how they defended that second half. Danny Craven really was the star man of the second half. He stepped up to it and, and all the crucial plays, you know, involved him in some form or other. So it was good to see the quality of the player coming through as well. But there's still lots of work to do, lots of improvement to do. And obviously, we've got 11 games left to do that, uh, including some very tough ones. And it's a tough one this week, you know, Workington, at Workington. Any, any time you travel up to Cumbria, it doesn't matter who you're playing, you know, for well, it's it's full on and it's going to be a tough game. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, just to touch upon um, the squad itself, because uh, I think there's been a couple of signings um, yeah. this past week or so. Um, but the squad itself, I mean, I remember interviewing a couple of the players early on in the season. It's a good squad, isn't it? So, you know, it's just about it clicking, really. It is, yeah. But the, And the thing that you've got to take into account as well uh, is the fact that they have been struck by injuries. Uh, they've, tend, they've got a few players back last week. They've, they picked up another couple of injuries last week. But, you know, that's why you have a squad, is to stand up to such, to such things. But there are definitely some very, very talented players within there. But it's a matter of getting, uh, getting everybody singing from the same hymn sheet, playing as a team, everybody working hard as a team. And then I'm pretty confident that we can make sure that we, uh, you know, these last 11 games, we can have a, a fair amount of success. 
And, and speaking of, of, of working hard, John, you already mentioned it, but the, the Wales International against France uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I mean, just to touch upon that, because it'd be remiss of me not to, to bring it up. I mean, how good was it to get a competitive game uh, for Wales before the World Cup? Uh, I, know, I know you'd like a couple more potentially, but um, how, how handy was that match? It was very handy because we were rusty. I mean, we hadn't played for over a thousand days. And there's lots of logistics involved in, in international games, including, you know, the, the travel over there, uh, the, the diet, training facilities. When it, so there's lots and lots. And we were rusty, but we managed to come through it. And uh, it ended up a really good camp. And I feel as if we've, we've stolen a little march on, on other teams because of that. So we feel much better prepared now. And I was delighted as well with the performance because, uh, you know, we, we played against 17 Super League players and our started 13 had one Super League, 10 championship and two League Ones. And we were very competitive throughout in very, very difficult conditions, you know, 40 degrees of heat. So it was really, really very, very useful, very positive. And I think it's given us, it's, with, it's given us a little march on our op opponents, especially if we get another trial game in, which we're hoping to do the week prior to the, the World Cup starting. Oh, great news. And, and John, obviously, like, like we touched upon here, um, you have been keeping busy. Uh, but final question, how much are you looking forward uh, to, to this weekend, getting back to the Betfred Championship and uh, taking charge of witness this weekend? I think once we've got the Wednesday, Friday training, team meetings, uh, sessions out of the way, I'll be looking forward to it greatly. But I just feel at the minute we've lots of work to do on the Wednesday and the Friday. Uh, but once that's done and, uh, you know, I, I drive home on, on Friday evening, uh, I can relax on Saturday and enjoy the anticipation then on the bus up there on, on the Sunday. So really looking forward to it, but lots of work to do before that.